And there's no doubt about it that he was a sort of unofficial advisor on matters of health. You know, through the 80s, he became extraordinarily prominent through his, you know, his spearheading the campaign that that saw the rebuilding of the National Spinal Injuries Unit at, at um, Stoke Mandeville, his work at Broadmoor, um, or his connection with Broadmoor, you know, his connection with Leeds General Infirmary. He was seen, um, you know, as somebody who could apply a common touch, I think, to the royal family, who could speak plainly to, uh, you know, the heir, the heir to the throne, who was probably fated and and fussed over by everybody and, and Savile spoke very plainly to him and wasn't afraid of upbraiding him and wasn't a, a, afraid of you know talking to him in a way probably that Prince Charles as he was then wasn't used to and I think probably people around him saw some value in that 